News, Wavinia Ndeti, who is eyeing the Machaka's governorship position, got a major reprieve today when the High Court ordered the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to include her name on the ballot paper. Indeed, the electoral body IBC had barred her from contesting for the position on grounds of belonging to two political parties. But as our Patrick Amimo now tells us, Justice George Odunga says the argument on party hopping was irrelevant and hence the decision unreasonable. At the High Court, Wavinya Ndeti and her running mate Peter Madhuki waited with bated breath as Justice Odunga delivered his ruling on whether her name should be included on the ballot paper. Printing of ballot papers is expected to start by the end of this week, and this had caused anxiety among Wavinya supporters, as IEBC had already barred her from contesting for the position currently held by Dr. Alfred Mutua. This court for purpose of being pushed, the decision of the response tribunal made on 8th June 2017, in complaint 79 of 2017, that decision is here by pushed. The ruling was a static for Wavinya. According to IEBC, the former Kathiani MP belongs to two parties, Waipa Democratic Movement and Chama Chauzalendo. So whether she lawfully joined Waipa was not an issue that was addressed by the committee. In any case, that issue had been dealt with by the PPDT, which found that as of 30th April 2017, the expert African was going to feed a member of Waipa. IEBC had argued that Wavinia was guilty of party hopping and that allowing her to contest would open floodgates for more petitions. The only basis upon which the, uh, the IEBC dispute resolution committee arrived at the decision of the 8th of June 2017 cannot stand legal scrutiny. It was with due respect hopelessly unreasonable. Odunga accused IEBC of dishonesty by not furnishing the court with full facts of their decision. We didn't expect there is some level of dishonesty in the position taken by the commission. There were other materials which would have assisted the court in arriving at a just decision. Nothing would have barred it from lodging the same. It's not worthy that the commission instead decided to lodge, and I dare say, so inappropriately, an electronic document allegedly containing the list of members of the Wiper Party. As a judicial tribunal, the respondent tribunal committee is expected pursuant to the national values and principles of governance in Article 10 of the Constitution to be transparent and accountable in its dealings with candidates and the court. Outside the court, Wavinia and her supporters, including NASA presidential running mate, welcomed the ruling. Nataka Kuambia, you have done justice for the people of Machakos County and women of this country as a whole. To enter kwa elections and you're asking IBC to allow our elections to be free and, and fair. To itai ngumu kabisa, to songe mbele, to fagie, now we know nikendanano anatumewa. And I am serious, IBC, you will be worse because ata hile ya asa na haku ingilia nomination process. Hapa registro a political party is mama Lucy Ndungu, anaandika wanzi ya sema, Wavinya is a member of WIPE. Ile tribunal ambayo likuwe na zaingine na sema Rudienu Chaguzi yenyewe kameka ruling kusema Wavinya is a proper member of Wiper Democratic Movement. IBC na walizeni tena. What is your interest? The petition to lock Wavinya out of the race was filed by Peter Chalo, a member of the Machakos County Assembly and supported by Machakos Senator Johnstone Modama. The ruling sets an interesting political duel in Machakos County. And the country, with watching Kili to see who between Dr. Alfred Mutua and Wavinya Ndeti, will take the mantle come August 8th. Patrick Amimo, KTA News, Nairobi.